Hi, I'm Alyssa Lansdale, and I'm gonna show you how to elevate your Zoom room today. Remember that long ago time when we could just jet across oceans or skip to the next state for business and pleasure? And by long ago, I mean February. Those were good times. Now our travel time is the 30 seconds it takes to cruise into our home office or living room. So much has changed. We're all TV hosts now, whether we like it or not, and we're inviting people onto the set of our lives. So why not make the most of being there virtually? Today, I'm gonna to give you five tips for elevating your Zoom room, just one small way to help you reveal your inner rock star. You may not have thought about it in this way, but thanks to meetings and online get-togethers, we all really have become the hosts of our own TV shows. It's true, right? Which brings me to my first tip. While we're on the subject of being host of your own show, get in touch with your inner set designer. Fluff up your background with texture, color, and beauty, and don't be intimidated. That could be a simple throw pillow and flowers or a bespoke bookshelf. Just be sure to vet the titles before exposing them to the world. Okay. And make sure your background isn't too distracting. A good rule of thumb here is to think of some of the most luxurious hotel rooms you've ever visited. They're beautiful and pleasing to the eye, but they encourage relaxation more than excitement and stimulation. Of course, you can take the luxury set design a step further and try a virtual background. Hold on, I'm not talking about roller coasters and spaceships that we used to have. I'm talking about the recent move by luxury hotels and destinations around the world to create virtual backgrounds for their would-be guests. Perhaps you'll deliver your quarterly report from your well-appointed room in Cayo Spanto, Belize, or you may deliver your status update from your carefully curated room in St. Bart's or London, courtesy of one fine stay. I think you'll agree Thanks to the travel industry's necessary pivoting of late, virtual backgrounds have benefited and they've come a long way. You're now allowed to use them officially. Number two, the second way you can elevate your Zoom room is by dressing the part. You may be at that point in these online meetings where we actually want to wear something other than shorts and a quickly chosen button-up shirt. Putting just a few minutes into planning what you're going to wear will actually be worth it for you and your audience. I mean, and yet to sit and look at yourself for an hour, you might as well be rocking that outfit you love, right? And when considering which items to dust off, consider the following. Busy prints are really tough to pull off, unless it's my wallpaper. Color is always good. Pick one you love. Sleeves are always preferable to sleeveless, in spite of the weather, and even if you're an arm model. Necklines also deserve careful consideration. Uh, this is gonna be the majority of what others are seeing, right? Too low and you'll be uncomfortable or worse. And depending on your framing, you may appear scantily dressed or even oh, topless. Which brings me to number three, the third way you can elevate your Zoom room. Framing. Back to the TV host concept, you never did see up Oprah's nose, did you? Any TV host will tell you that camera at eye level or slightly above is so much more flattering than one that's below. And not only is it more attractive, it also sends the right message to your audience that you're literally leveling with them as opposed to talking down to them or deferring to them by looking way up. And bonus, keeping your camera at eye level, you'll also remove that giant ceiling shot we've come to know so well and hate so much. As for how much of you people see, you have a little leeway. You can be head and shoulders only with minimal headroom, or if you tend to use passionate gestures and you want people to see them, consider a waist up shot. So now your framing is up to speed. It's time to consider the fourth way you can maximize your Zoom meeting. The number four is lighting. Barbara Walters knew this, Beyonce, JLo, Kelly Ripa, they all know lighting is everything. In fact, any TV personality over 40 knows that lighting is almost everything. Now, does that mean you have to drop three grand on a lighting kit? Happily, no. A well-placed window and a simple lamp will do. Make sure your light source is behind your laptop, not behind you. You know those people who look like they're in the witness relocation program because they're in silhouette? Yeah, don't be that guy. Make sure, if at all possible, that you're facing your window. It's more pleasant for you that way anyway, and it brightens you up. If that's not possible, or if it's dark out, or maybe the lighting is too bright, you can supplement with any old table lamp. Again, make sure it's at eye level. 
play around with the lighting before your Zoom call. Take a look at yourself in view mode and move the light around until it fills all the shadows that are cast onto your face. I have a lamp made for seasonal affective disorder that I use as a fill light, and it's actually better than a lot of TV lighting kits I've used. Plus, it makes me really happy. Number five, fifth on this list, and finally, you can elevate your Zoom meetings or calls with friends by using eye contact to connect with them. This encourages trust, it puts people at ease, and it makes them feel like they're actually being heard. Now, weirdly, this means looking away from them and into the camera hole when you're in a virtual meeting. Again, so counterintuitive to how we're used to doing things, but if you truly want to make a point to your audience and connect with them, focus on your camera. Not to say that you shouldn't be looking at their faces. In fact, that's critical for seeing how your ideas are landing, but when you're making an important point or to show others that you are listening to them, make sure you shift your gaze toward the camera. Now to recap, get in touch with your inner set designer, dress the part, set proper framing, light it up, and make strong eye contact. So while Zoom has replaced jet setting, at least for now, you can still make your communication rich and rewarding when you follow these tips. Have fun online too. It's a real opportunity for connection. Speaking of connection, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any of your own great tips, list them below in the comments. I would love to hear some of them. If you want to connect with me for more information, you can find all of that at rockstarcommunications.ca. The link is below. And don't forget, most important thing here, every one of us has an inner rock star. <laughs>